Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about number two from the 2018 Calc AB exam, and it's kind of just a particle motion problem. Um, nothing really too exciting. So let's see. Um, we are told uh, that a particle is moving along the x-axis. Its velocity is given by this thing, and t is between 0 and 3.5. There are no units given in this problem, so you pretty much don't use units in your answers, which is kind of weird. Um, the first question is about the acceleration of the particle at t equals 3. So we're trying to find acceleration at 3, and that's going to be the derivative of velocity at 3. And then I just grabbed a calculator and had it tell me the answer. So that's approximately um, negative 2.118. And uh, here's a screenshot of what I did. So I defined the function, um, and then I just had the calculator take the derivative. All right, let's move on to part b. And in this part, uh, we still know that this is velocity. Um, we want to find the position at t equals 3, so we need an additional thing that we were told. We're also told that um, x is equal to negative 5 when t is equal to 0. So this, we're going to basically use uh, the fundamental theorem. So the position at t equals 3, which I'm going to call x of 3, should be the position at 0, which is negative 5, plus the integral from 0 to 3, which is the time we started and the time we're going to stop, of v of t dt. So v of t dt. And it's a calculator problem, so you grab your calculator, and it says it's approximately, this value is approximately negative 1.760. Um, and those are like units or something. And so just to kind of summarize, the position at t equals 3 is going to be negative 1.760. And that's kind of as, uh, as good an answer as you can give. Um, here's what I did on the calculator for that. Just straight typed it in, calculator gave me the answer. Let's look at part C. So in part C, we're asked to actually find uh, two different definite integrals and then interpret them. So we need the integral from 0 to 3.5 of v of t dt. Um, punch that into the calculator. You get approximately 2.844. And then we also need the integral of the absolute value of v of t dt on the same interval. So 0 to 3.5, absolute value of v of t dt. And the calculator says that is approximately 3.737. Now we have to interpret both of these um, in the context of the problem. So we have uh, not a lot of context. It's velocity and you're on the x-axis. So um, the first integral that we found Integral of um, velocity should just be displacement, so uh, the particle's displacement. And then on the time interval from t equals 0 to t equals 3.5 is, um, according to what we found, uh, 2.844. And uh, you might want to be more specific. Uh, I'm never really sure exactly what they're looking for. So you could also just say the particle is so since the displacement is positive, the particle is um, 2.844 units to the right of where you started. So it's going to be um, to the right of where it started at t equals 0, I guess. Um, so that's definitely the interpretation in the context of the problem. I always wish there were units on these problems. It just would make it easier to write these answers. Um, and then the second integral of absolute value of v of t dt is just distance traveled. So uh, the particle's distance traveled on t equals 0 to t equals 3.5 is the value that we got. So 3.737. Um, the next question introduces a second particle. And the second particle has position, which we're told is x2 of t. Um, and we're told it's t squared minus t. And we want to know at what time t are the two particles moving with the same velocity. So when is the velocity function we were originally given equal to the velocity of this particle? So let's find the velocity of this. It's a pretty simple power rule. So we're going to get 2t minus 1. Um, it's a calculator problem, so you actually don't need to find that. But um, you could just have the calculator do all the work. But it's easy enough, so why not? So we're trying to solve when v2 of t is equal to v of t. And uh, the calculator solved that for me and gave me that t is approximately 1.571 something. Uh, there are no units given, so let's just leave it like that. So here's what I initially did on the calculator. 
Um, I just typed in solve and it solved it, but it gave me that yield sign and then told me more solutions might exist. I didn't like that, so the next thing I did was I graphed both of them and you can see there's definitely only one intersection point on the interval. Um, and that's all of uh, the question. So I hope you found this helpful and good luck.